Hi everyone, uh, today we take up a new cargo work question and this cargo work uh, numerical is from the book uh, Cargo Work for Mariners by Captain Errol Fernandez. So if you have this book, uh, you can go to exercise one and find question number six. Uh, if you don't, then you can just follow the question as I have written and you can follow the solution together with it. All right, so the question is that uh, there is a hold the dimensions of the hold are given to you it's 14 by 10 by 3 meters and uh, this hold is to be filled with jute and or cotton bales the jute bales measure 1 meter by 0.5 meter by 0.6 meter and uh, each of the jute bales they weigh 180 kilograms and the cotton bales they measure 1 meter by 0.5 meter by 0.8 meter and each of them uh, weigh 250 kilograms all right then there are a few things for you to find out in this question so you'll have to find them out one by one uh, but before i start uh, asking uh, what is it that we have to find out or rather highlight what we have to find out uh, please make a note of the units in this question so we've got a meter we've got a kilogram so make a note of these all right so make sure that you um, are mindful of the units that you use while solving the question the cargo work uh, so as to use it uh, at, uh, in the right way so if you've got tons you can't use tons with kgs or you can't use centimeters with meter and that is what i wanted to highlight okay so anyhow the question goes on to say that how many bales of jute and cotton would you load so you have to find in each case how many so the quantity of bales of jute and cotton in the first case is when when the ship owner is going to uh, be paid by the ton so that means of course uh, anything that will get the ship owner more money uh, will be loaded then the second one is um, how many bales of jute and cotton would you load if the load density of the deck was 1.86 ton per meter square and the third one is again uh, how many bales of jute and cotton would you load if the freight for jute was 5.5 dollar per ton and cotton was 5.2 dollar per ton so you can see here how the unit is again now changing uh, to tons so here the weight is mentioned in tons whereas uh, initially the weight of each cargo unit was measured in kilograms so be a bit uh, uh, mindful of that and finally if the swl or that is a safe working load of the slings used for loading was 1.5 ton how many slings would you require in the above three cases all right so this is the question here uh, i hope you understood the question here so here is the question again for you guys so the whole uh, dimension is given to you and that is to be filled with jute and cotton boils or jute or cotton bales all right depending on the case of course the jute bales uh, dimension is given as well and so is the weight of each of the jute bales and the cotton bales dimension is given and so is the weight of each cotton bale and you have to calculate how many bales of jute and cotton uh, would you load in each case uh, as asked by you so let's take the first case the first case is if the ship owner was to be paid by the ton so how how much would you load what's the quantity so to find out in the first case we find out the volume of the cargo hold which can be found out by multiplying uh, the length by breadth by height so length by breadth by height which is given to us 14 by 10 by 3 the volume is 420 metric cube all right then let's find out the volume of each of the jute bales and the volume of each of the cotton bales again this information is given to you so we've got 1 meter by 0.5 meter by 0.6 meter which is 0.3 metric cube and then volume of cotton bales is 1 meter by 0.5 meter by 0.8 meter which is 0.4 metric cubes so you have the volume of each of uh, jute bales and cotton bales as well as the volume of the hold now uh, based on the information that is given to you so if you have got the total volume of the cargo hold and you've got the volume of the jute bales, you can find out the number of jute bales that can be loaded. So that would be total volume of cargo hold, right, divided by volume of jute bale. So in this case, of course, it would be 420 by 0 0.3, that is 1400. So 1400 jute bales can be loaded in all. So if you load 1400 jute bales and each jute bale measures or rather weighs 180 kilograms, how many tons of jute bales can you load? So that would be 1400 multiplied by, sorry about that, 0 0.180. This is 0 0.180 tons. Now why is this 0 0.180 tons? Because uh, 180 kilograms 
needs to be converted to tons so you divide 180 by 1000 and this will give you the weight in tons and why are we converting into tons because eventually we have to find out uh, how much will the ship owner be paid if the uh, cargo is to be paid by ton so i have to convert the weight loaded into tons that's why all right then we can find out this is the first case so you'll be loading if you fill up the whole cargo hold if you fill up the whole cargo hold you'll be loading 252 tons of jute bales now if i load up the cotton bales so how many cotton bales can i load so number of cotton bales to be loaded again is total volume of cargo hold divided by volume of jute bale correct or rather volume of cotton bale not jute bale but cotton bale all right so again similar to before so what you would do is that uh, take the total volume that is 420 and divided by the volume of the cotton bale that is 0.4 so you will be loading 1050 cotton bales if you fill up the cargo hold all right so this is or so if you fill up either jute bales or cotton bales so if you fill up with cotton bales how much is the weight of the cotton bales that you will be loading 1050 by 0 0.250 tons which is equal to 262.5 tons of cotton bales you will be loading all right again where did I get 250.250 from? 250 kilograms is the weight of each cotton bale. If I have to convert it into tons, it will be 250 by 1000. And this will give me 0 0.250 tons. And again, I repeat, I am converting the weight into tons because uh, that is uh, the unit um, um, used to calculate the uh, amount to be paid to the ship owner in each case. That's why I can't have the weight in kilograms so uh, that's how much you will be loading so i have already told you so in the first question the question was saying uh, how many bales of jute and cotton would you load if the ship owner was to be paid by the ton so if the ship owner was to be paid by the ton then which are you loading more you are loading cotton bales more right so this is the one you'll be loading so you'll be loading 262.5 tons of cotton bales not this because this is loading less so if the ship owner is to be paid by the ton the ship owner will like to load more cargo and more cargo is being loaded when we are loading the cotton bales that's the answer all right and then the second part is asking you uh, how much would you load if the load density is 1.86 ton per metric square so you can see again here the unit ton is being used that's why it was a good idea for us to convert the weight into tons from kilograms so if the load density is 1.86 ton per metric square so it's per metric square that means in the cargo hold how much is the maximum cargo that you can load so what is load density load density is the maximum cargo that we can load uh, in a square area without exceeding uh, the limit or rather without uh, if we load more than that the cargo plating will buckle under the pressure of the cargo so therefore if per meter square we can load 1.86 ton then the cargo holds area is length by breadth 114 by 10 which is 140 metric square multiplied by the load density here so that would give us 260.4 tons so this is the maximum cargo we can load 260.4 tons because in a square we can load 1.86 ton per metric square that is the permissible limit but that is per metric square where the cargo holds area is 14 by 10 140 metric square so in total we can load 260.4 tons that is the permissible limit given to us so in this case let x be the number of jute bales we can load and y be the number of cotton bales we can load all right so of course then uh, volume of each jute bale is 0 0.33 this is the volume of each jute bale and cotton bale volume each cotton bale is 0 0.4 right so if the total volume which is 420 we have got that space available to us is to be filled then we'll have x number of jute bales so each volume will be 0.3x total number total volume of the jute bales loaded and uh, if we are loading y number of cotton bales then volume of each is 0.4 so 0.4 by y will be the total volume occupied by the cotton bales so 0.3x plus 0.4y is equal to 420 this is 420 metric cube all right and then we have uh, 180x plus 250y what is this 180x now this is in kilograms so 180 so if x is the total number of jute bales that can be loaded and each jute bale 
weighs 180 kilograms then what is the total weight of jute bales being loaded so 180x and then if 250 kilograms is the weight of each cotton bale then what's the total weight of cotton bales that can be loaded is 250 by y y is the number of cotton bales that can be loaded and that is 260 1400 what is this 260400 this has come from here so the maximum cargo that i can load is 260.4 tons so 260.4 tons can be converted to kilograms or vice versa you could have done either that and that is 260400 that is the maximum cargo that we can load so we have formed two equations so this is equation one and this is equation two one is uh, one equation is based on the total volume and the other equation is based on the total weight that we can load without exceeding the load density so we have two equations now if i have to make one of these equations uh, similar i will multiply so i want to make the x similar so what i'll do is i will multiply this equation one by 600 that means i will multiply each of these values by 600 that will give me a new equation so when i multiply it by 600 this is what i get 180x plus 240y equals 252 thousand all right so i will take this is equation three so now i don't need equation number one i will take equation two and equation three and i will subtract one from the other so then this cancelled out 180 and 180 cancels out 250 minus 240 gives me 10y and 260,400 minus 252,000 gives me 8,400 so 10y equals 8,400 that would mean y equals 8, 840 what is 840 840 is the number of cotton bales i can load without exceeding the load density as well as and that would uh, based on the total volume available to me now i can put this 840 in this any of the equations above either equation 1 or equation 2 or even equation 3 and i can calculate uh, what is x so if i put it in equation 1 we have 0.3x plus 0.4y instead of y i have now 840 because i know the value is equal to 420 metric cube so in this case i can calculate what is x x is 280 jude bills so if i don't have to exceed the load density this is the number of jude bills i can load and this is the number of cotton bills i can load this is the answer to part two then part three asks me uh, what is the freight so how many bales of jute and cotton would i load if the freight for jute was 5.5 per ton and cotton was 5.2 per ton so how many would i load so let us see now if i load the jute bales so i can see from part one if i have to load the if i have to load the entire cargo hold with jute bales i was only allowed 1400 jute bales right and similarly if i was to load cotton bales and fill the whole cargo hold with cotton bales i can load how much 1050 cotton bales all right so these figures is something i calculated in part one so if i have to be paid by freight so if i load jute bales which is equal to 1400 each jute bale i would be paid 5.5 dollar so how much money would i get 1400 by 5.5 which is 7700 dollars if i load cotton bales that would be only 1050 cotton bales that i can load and for each cotton bale i'll get 5.2 dollar so how much do i get 5460 so what would i prefer to load if i was a ship owner i would load jute bills because i can get more money out of that am i correct so this is what i would be loading if i have to load it uh, by freight paid so if total number of jute bills is 1400 but i'm getting more money for it i will load that if i was being paid by the weight then i was going to load cotton bills and that is what i showed in part one all right, so you see the difference when I was being paid by freight or by the weight, I was going to load um, cotton bales. So in part one here, if you are getting confused here, so if I was to load in part one, I was asked what if the ship owner was paid by the ton. So if I was to be paid by the ton, I am loading more tons of cotton bales. So I will load cotton bales. But if I am to be paid by the freight, I will load jute bales because I am getting more money for the jute bales. Finally, question part four was that how many, uh, if the SWL of the sling used was 1.5 ton, how many slings would you require in the above cases? So instead of calculating in each case, I know that uh, the maximum cargo that I will be loading is 262.5 tons, right? That is the weight of the cotton bales that I was loading. I found that out in part one itself. 
so that is the maximum cargo i am loading so if i am loading 262.5 tons and the swl of each sling was 1.5 ton then how many slings do i need at a maximum 262.5 divided by 1.5 which is 175 slings i won't be needing more than that all right so of course if i load cotton bales i might need less but the maximum i need is 175 slings and that would be my answer so weight of cotton bales is 262.5 tons the swl or safe working load of each sling is 1.5 ton so i'll have to use 175 slings to load the total cargo of cotton bales which is the maximum cargo as per the weight of the cargo so i hope you understood this question if you didn't understand any of the parts uh, let me know and i'm happy to explain it otherwise watch these videos a few times and you will get the hang of what i did so watch it and go slow otherwise it's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple uh, use the information that is given to you and then slowly work each part out and you'll be able to do so there is no confusion here with broken storage or storage factor it's pretty straightforward simple straight enough so let me know if you have any issues or any follow-up questions and put it in the comment section i'll try to